A scanning electron microscope in action. The magnification and resolution of this microscope is mind-goggling. The image can be up to 500,000 times larger than in reality. Scientists at the Office Research Lab in Oldenburg, Germany, are analyzing silicon surfaces with this microscope. Smooth to the naked eye, the microscope will reveal surface elevations only 100 thousandths of a millimeter high. This corresponds to 10 nanometers. Research on such a small scale is therefore called nanotechnology. The sample reveals tiny spikes, so-called nanowires, on the surface. They were created on purpose to improve the characteristics of solar cells. The aim? The surface with the nanowires should collect more sunlight than the flat surface. The scientists hope that these modifications could increase the energy output by 10 to 15 percent. This only works well when the nanowires are distributed evenly on the surface. Within the European research project FIBLIS, the engineers have now extended their microscope to a fully functional nano laboratory. They integrated several new tools which allow them to examine the samples in a completely new way on a nano scale. Using different instruments, they can measure the electrical and mechanical characteristics, verify the distribution of the nanowires in detail, or even take off the surface layer of molecules to study the structure of the sample beneath it. Such a tool is useful not only for scientists working at research institutions, it can also help engineers in the industry to design new products. For example, the new nano laboratory opens up new possibilities in the design of more efficient solar cells, for the design of more efficient fuel cells and batteries. At the moment, the nano lab is a prototype, but within the next two years, it could become a standard analytical tool used by engineers and scientists working on nanoscale products.